Dear students, now we are going to discuss stability of tuned amplifiers and the methods used for stabilization. So in this tuned amplifier, the stability is getting affected by the interjunction capacitance. So here you can see this, the transistor is used in the tuned amplifier circuit. The transistor is having interjunction capacitance between the base and collector that is CBC. At higher frequencies, this interjunction capacitance becomes very low that means it can act as a short circuit. Then the output can be fed back to the input side. You will understand this concept as we know that frequency is inversely proportional to the capacitance, right? So at higher frequency ranges, the capacitance value is low. That means it can act as a short circuit. If it is short circuited means it can provide some of the or fraction of the output as a input to this input side. That is a feedback signal. At some frequency range, this feedback signal is equal to the input signal along with the phase. That means it can provide positive feedback. Due to this positive feedback, the circuit leads to unwanted oscillation in the amplifier circuit. That means the circuit becomes unstable. Do you all understand this concept? So here it leads to unavoidable oscillations in the amplifier circuit. It can be avoided by applying proper coupling between input and output. So here there is a unwanted positive feedback provided to this base then we have to avoid this signal. How is it possible? We are going to introduce one external variable capacitance which is equal in magnitude to the CBC and opposite in phase from the output side to this input side. Do you all understand this one? So we can avoid this interjunction capacitance by introducing one external capacitance with equal magnitude and opposite phase of the CBC from the output to the input. Then both can be cancelled each other. Do you all understand this one? That is called as stabilization methods. So here methods used for stabilization, neutralization methods, unilateralization and mismatch. So many methods are available. So in this video we are going to discuss Hazeldine neutralization and neutrodyne neutralization, okay? Neutralization is the very important stabilization method used for tuned circuit, okay? Neutralization is the stabilization method in which the effect of interjunction capacitance between base and collector is neutralized by introducing a signal that cancels the signal through this interjunction capacitance. So it can be achieved by connecting an external capacitor that is also called as neutralizing capacitor between the input and output of the amplifier to cancel the positive feedback. So here the condition is what? The neutralizing capacitor should have the same magnitude as that of the interjunction capacitance but the phase is out of phase. Okay. The first one is Hazeldine neutralization. In this method, the undesired effect of this collector to base interjunction capacitance is neutralized by introducing a variable external capacitor that is also called as neutralizing capacitor between the primary winding of the output side to this base. Do you all understand this one? Then it can cancel the effect of this CBC because its amplitude is equal to this amplitude but the phase is out of phase. Do you all understand this one? So it can cancel the feedback signal. By properly selecting the value of the CN we can get exact neutralization. There is only one drawback in this Hazeldine neutralization that means the neutralizing capacitor is taken from this primary winding then it depends on this supply voltage. In Hazeldine neutralization, the undesired effect of the interjunction capacitance 
is neutralized by introducing a neutralizing capacitor. So it can cancel the effect of interjunction capacitance that by properly adjusting this we can get exact neutralization. Here the major drawback is neutralizing capacitor requires supply voltage it depends on it. So in order to overcome this we move on to this neutralizing neutralization. It is also called as modified version of Heseldine neutralization. Its operation is similar to that of Heseldine neutralization. So there is only one difference. Here we can connect this neutralizing capacitance between the secondary winding that is the input to the next stage and the base. Okay. So here this neutralizing capacitor does not depend on the supply voltage. So it does not require the supply voltage as well as it is insensitive to the variation of this supply voltage. Do you all understand this one? Similar to Heseldine neutralization, in this method the neutralizing capacitor CN is connected between the base and the secondary coil of the next stage. Therefore, the neutralizing capacitor does not require supply voltage. That means it is independent of supply voltage. It provides higher stabilization for the tuned amplifiers. There are few more neutralization techniques available like rise, coil and cross neutralization. These are also types of neutralization methods.